stay in Iraq. Iraq is very well represented uh, in our meeting. Thank because we had so wonderful speakers. Oh, uh, <laughs> ah, thank you. This is uh, Salman Haraila. I'm trying to pronounce it with the correct uh, correct uh, uh, accent. I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing it good. Uh, and Salman uh, is. Uh, Oh, that was yeah, your turn to introduce That's why I'm Salman. looking okay. at you this please, way. Please go on. <laughs> Hello, Salman. Uh, it is my pleasure to introduce uh, you to our ad audience. So um, here is Salman Hayralla, uh, an activist involved in conservation and solving conflicts around access to water. And you, as a 15-year-old boy, uh, were fled uh, the civil war in Baghdad and began working for the Iraq Institute, uh, which is now Nature Iraq, uh, when uh, Azam works, and uh, you met there. <laughs> and um, I like the quote of you, like uh, this, um, a passion for the environment become a refuge from war, ethnic violence and constant conflict, like this working for nature is your, uh, was your refuge. And you are a founder and director of the Tigris River Protectors. And thanks to this work, um, the marshes of southern Iraq are now uh, on the UNESCO World Heritage List from 2016. So uh, the floor is yours now. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the hosting. Thank you for Tamara to, to introduce me to you both. Uh, actually, I am uh, I'm proud to be with you and to, to be part of this session in the beginning. And I want to thank all the audience that they following us on YouTube channel and on, on Facebook and even here all the participants that they are facing for all the challenge that we are talk about all the wetland that we are faced in Iraq, especially what the the the, the amazing presentation from Hannes and, and, and later to Tamara show us all the pictures from the past and and and, and from f from from the from now and it's it's it it came to us all the future how it's gonna be by what azam said so all this story i just want to tell i will discuss a little of it and i will go a little bit with all those story again and i will start from myself uh, actually, I'm, I'm originally, my family originally from Basra, from north part of Basra, and my dad was from the marshes already. He lived there and he born there when, in a time in 1946, in that time he said, Salman, we don't have uh, money in that time. What we have is just, we have date, and we gave date for the another farm, and the another farm, they give us tea, and this is our livelihood in the past. and. We go to fishing and we have our agricultural land and this is how, what, what we are working on. Later, he become as an oil engineer and he started to destroy a lot of lands in Basra. And he is always feeling shame about what he did. And he always pushing me and pushing all my brothers and everyone that he know him that don't be an engineer with oil and don't work on to just eating all the nature resources in this way. And this is, it's become always in my head and all his story always in my head. And uh, till 2006, it was this civil war between in Baghdad with, with, with the terrorists and between Sunni and Shia in that time and there is a lot of story like this. In the end, I, 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 uh, I had the call from Nature Iraq to, to have to a, good, a good vacancy for me with Nature Iraq and I started with Nature Iraq in that time uh, to work with them as a, as a lab assistant in that time just to preparing all the stuff in the lab and also helping them with the testing collecting everything and my brother was uh, working with them also but he was always in the marshes sending all the all the samples from there i was very young i was around 15 years old so and now i'm 30 years old so half of my life i'm working with those people in the wetlands and in the marshes 
later on, we I, 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 we, we moved from Baghdad. We, we couldn't be stay with this, with, with this war inside Baghdad. So we immigrate internally. We become like ADBs. So we uh, displacement to to Basra. So we went to the to our my 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 uh, my father tribe there in Basra, and we lived with them for three years. And this three years also Nature Rock opened another another office in South, and I worked with them in this nature. Sorry for this noisy from this birds I have here, and and an Iraqi birds called bulbul. This is very oh. traditional Iraqi birds. <laughs> bulbul. It's called bulbul. Yeah. Is from Basra, and they send it to me as a gift. So he is always here, and I, 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 I like to be in a Basra, and I'm not in Basra anymore. So anyway, uh, yes, and and after after this, and after when when Nature Rock opened this office, we start to to work there also. And I remember one of the survey that done by Azam, uh, by by sorry, by Jasim Al Asadi, who is now the director of the South. Uh, south part of of uh, the headquarter of Nature Rock and South part of Iraq. So and uh, with Jasim Al we saw there is a family. They are crying and they are very very uh, sad in that day. I asked him why. He said Salman, those family today in the morning they lost. And this it, it was in 2009 the first drought. I th I think this is what I heard from Jasim. It was the first drought. Uh, after after the, the the reflood, after 2003, the first drought happened in 2009, and because of the pollution and contamination in the water, those family they lost their only one buffalo that all their life depend on this buffalo, and when this buffalo is died, that's it. This this family they don't have they have a, a, a one daughter and one son in that time, and they are two parents with them. So they don't have anything to feed their family anymore, and they don't have anything to do it. And it was very sad story to see it in front of you. I started from in that time when I back in the night, I start thinking how to connect between my life and their life. I immigrate from Baghdad to Basra around 500 kilometer just because of the women, small women, it might be killed me because I'm from another religious or something like this in Iraq. But in the same time, there is people, they are moving from the marshes to the to, 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 to the around Baghdad or, or farther more than Baghdad, northern, like to Samarra, just to looking for more water. So this is just like there is a common issue between us. We both immigrate inside the same country, but there is two connect issue between between us. That we both we we are looking for a life, for a better life, and both of us he has his life. But but I I I moved because of the women, and they are moved because of the the the, the water. And this is something big to talk about water making all this problem or this conflict. Later on, I, 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 I recognize that there is uh, that there is a word it's called as activist later on after a few years. And uh, I, at that time, I still uh, I actually I support by by nature Iraq to back again to my school and I finish my school and I finish my university. I even when I was in the university, I was uh, uh, getting support from nature Iraq in that time from Justin Essedi and the staff there. Uh, till I finish, uh, and we did also a great journey together. Even Azam was with us, a flotilla journey. And one of the points that in a flotilla journey we couldn't do it is 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 a, is a long journey during all the river from the source of the river to the sea. It it should be like this, but we couldn't do it in this way because of the terrorists. So till Mosul, in, in the end of the talk, we stop and we move all the boats by car to Baghdad. So all this way, it's around three, four hundred kilometer. We didn't, we couldn't use the river because of the terrorists, because of the, the, the dams, because of all this human things. It's built here to 
to, to cut all the connection between all those communities and all those communities in Mesopotamia, it it should be like always connecting to each other to, to each other as Hans said in his presentation how they were connecting together thousands of years ago. So later on uh, later on in 2015 starting a lot of demonstration here in Iraq also starting the biggest one it was in 2015 I think uh, I, I mean before before October 2019 so in 2015 also I I start from that time to realize that I can be the voice of the Arab Marsh and of the Maidan and all those people from the wetlands here to talk with all the federal government to see what's happened just like a few hundred meters ago of them because they are only always in the office and they didn't know what's happened in the wetlands and what's happened in our Iraqi marsh and in that time Turkish was just stay, still working on Eliso Dam who cutting uh, who, who is it's 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 a it's a big dam built uh, built on on a, on the main structure of Tigris River and it's the the reservoir is around 11, 11 billion cubic meter around this number so it's a huge huge dam cutting all the water and I was talking about all the problem of of those dams and inside inside Tahrir Square in 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 the city center of Baghdad just to talk about the challenge and and just please save the Iraqi marshes and save the Chibaiish marshes because in that time hundred, we lost hundreds of buffaloes in those area because of the contamination inside those water and the high salinity that we got it. In the end I got this call from the Safe Tigris campaign, the international <coughs> campaign of the Safe Tigris and we work uh, they 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 asked me to work together again to just fighting to solve all those problems and find alternative i thought in, in that time it's the best way to work for these issues especially <coughs> to be the the main voice for those to, for those arab march uh, to send their voice loudly and to make their voice loudly to, to all the people, at least in that time, um, I was thinking for the local level to know who is the Arab Marsh and why we should save them and why we should support them always. This is the first point. I, I, in that time, I didn't think we should work on the international level. Let's work only in the, in the, in the national level. And we success, actually. All those years, no one listened for us. But later, after all the demonstration that we joined and all the activity that we did, after a few months also, we start to create our team as a, they call it Humad Dijla. Humad Dijla, which means Tigris River Protectors Association. I'm a co-founder in, in, in this association and in the same time uh, a director, as a, as a executive director for this association. This association is starting with two persons only and we don't have even our office. And right now we have four offices in Iraq, one in Suleimania, one in Baghdad, and one in Heat, and one in, in Nasriya. And we have more than 500 volunteers around Iraq in 16 cities around those rivers. They are fighting to save and protect those rivers that they, they, they have it. The main issue that we are thinking about is to make the voice of the local communities loud and loud and send their voice to the all the governments, the federal government, the region government, the local authorities, and even in the international level. All those points that we are worked on already. The, there is a lot of points also in the end. I just want to mention those points and put it put it as as a spot that that uh, the the Arab March. Uh, the Arab March in, in, the, in the beginning they didn't know how to send their voice uh, and, and they didn't know what should they ask for and I, 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 I know that is starting from nature Iraq and how they supporting all the local communities at least by uh, doing a lot of research 
getting a lot of information from them, to writing a lot of research, a lot of papers, showing to the to to, to the to the national uh, international level all the all, all all the situation inside the marshes. But for us as a Humad Dijla, we focused on how to send their voice locally, at least to now and and we worked from 2016 to do at least a local tourism in those area and we we success in the end and now hundreds and thousands of people every year visiting the iraqi marshes as a tourism because before they are just going outside look to turkey syria iran all those area and they didn't came to the south part of iraq we have all the civilization like the ancient city of ur and as you know, the, 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 all the civilization in Iraq is close to the river and in a bank of the river always, always like this. From the Sumerian time, from the Akkadian time till the Assyrian time, all those civilization that we have it is close to the river. Uh, and, and, and in the end, I just want to, to say, to, 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 to talk about one point about just to to it just is not answer or it just like you can you can call it is a small a small vision that we have it i know that um is still i don't have that experience that azam know and nature iraq knows and i'm still a student of azam and all the team of nature iraq but i am um, i'm totally i didn't agree that for me personally and for the in the name of the of the international level of the safe tigers campaign and even of all those our movement in iraq of Ramad Dijle about to storing our water in turkey storing the water outside and putting all those dams is something i i i think i guess it, it, it's something ridiculous to, to 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 think about it because those dams is at least there is one main fact of this it's it's it will be it will be fact for the climate and in the end it, it will stop all the biodiversity all the immigration of the fish a lot of the sedimentation it will stop all the flowing of the water there is a lot of ideas and right now there is a lot of countries they start to remove and, and moving and destroy all the dams and starting to use something eco-friendly to storing the water. We have a lot of lakes, we have a lot of uh, like our, our marshes, the wetlands, all those sites. And I know that Nature Iraq, we worked together in 2014, I think, on something in, 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 uh, the, in, in a project just to, to account all the wetland areas in Iraq. And it was a lot. And most of it, it's a lot of it. It's just like it's become a desert. So this is this is this is the first point. We don't need Turkey and those a lot of countries to use the water as a weapon for war, like what's happened in 2020 with in Al Hasaka, that Turkish government cutting the water from Euphrates River for Al Hasaka, which is which is in northeast Syria. There is a three million people population. They don't have a drinkable water. They don't have access for the river. So what we are fighting for, we should have access for the drinkable, swimmable, and and fishable water. This is what we are looking for. So this is the main the the, 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 the the main point that we are looking for. There is a lot of ideas that we can use it instead of building more dams. Building more dams that mean we put uh, a blood attack in our in our blood in in, 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 our, in our stream in our river stream. So this is what we are thinking about. If there is any question, I'm ready to answer. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, Salman, uh, your story reminds me of many other grassroots activism uh, 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 stories or initiatives in other parts of the world, including Poland. And uh, since uh, some years, we have a growing number of uh, associations related to a specific river. We have the issue of dams in all parts of the world with supporters of, of, dam, of dam buildings and uh, building 
and uh, those who want to get rid of them and uh, uh, free the rivers. Uh, we will not solve the, this regional issues uh, about water management, but it's very important to highlight them and show that they are uh, more or less the same in various parts of the world, but uh, uh, the consequences in some parts of the world are much uh, more drastic and, uh, and accelerated. Uh, Magda, do you have a yeah, question? I just wanted to stress uh, the same thing that you already told, that uh, we in Poland are, are uh, at the stage of building dams and artificial lakes, and we fight against it, like Siarzewo, uh, artificial lake, and <laughs> I feel like we are uh, at the beginning of the process. I, uh, I'm uh, impressed very much by your achievement yeah with uh, 500 volunteers uh, of your associations uh, it's not a, a long process uh, we don't have for example with our <laughs> association that uh, uh, that success so uh, what what made this success is it uh, uh, individuals like you or are really people willing to to join this type of initiatives do you do you have a lot of support from uh, for example marsh arabs do they want to uh, to work for nature restoration and livelihoods, rest of water, uh, regaining water? Yeah, th thank you so much for your for your question. Actually, yeah, we start we start we start in this way. We start just like to uh, one of the main topics that we are that we work on uh, in, in, in in many stage. Like we have a stage for the research. We have at least yearly research to talk about a specific topic that we uh, we want to 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 announce it for this year we work on on on, on advocacy campaign we work on uh, like like uh, uh, changing campaign and we work also for awareness and campaign the awareness and campaign putting all a lot of people just to listen to us so what we are we we using the the, the social media in a perfect way that we can announce a lot of things together and we did this free i'm just i was in last five five years i was traveling in a city just like three weeks a month i'm traveling between the city just to doing small trainings for the youth we just putting a form google form in in in, in, in our facebook page and asking if anyone want to take this training and in a training is a training is just about to awareness is training but in the end of the training i ask them if they want to be part of this movement actually we are registered in the iraqi federal government just to be because you know the the bureaucratic system that we have it here in iraq that and the formal paper that we need to send it from the uh, to to any ministry to talk with them we need to be formal with them that's only the point that we are working on, but uh, 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 but but for us as a Humad Dijla, we are always uh, explain ourselves as a, as a, as a social environmental social movement here in Iraq. So to be environmental social movement, we always working in the local level. And there is a lot of youth in a school, in a secondary school, and even in the university, they are part of this movement and they are willing to be part of this movement, which is something great. In the beginning, just like two person, and now we are in this in this way. And every year there is hundreds of people they are coming to be part of this movement around Iraq in a voluntary way. So so the 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 culturally they start to accept the voluntary work, which is something very new in our region, especially here in Iraq. Uh, we have a question from Azam. It's not a question, it's a statement. Uh, an answer to Salman. Uh, Azam is not supporting building of dam. The dams are there and they're built. What I'm suggesting is a way of dealing with the reality of the dams being there. I am certainly against Iraq building a new dam. Iraq is building a dam on Makhroun, uh, which is the stupidest idea ever, but that happens. The question is, it's nice to be ideal, and I, 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 I love idealists, and I support them, and I don't stand in their way, uh, but I am suggesting to dealing with reality as it is. 
It's nice to have people like Salman fighting for the ideal. There's a theory that says Martin Luther King needed somebody like Malcolm X to make him look reasonable compared to the uh, uh, revolutionaries. So Salman, I congratulate you. I want you to continue to fight against them. I am with you against dams, but I am trying to find a way to work with the existing dams, not supporting new dams. And I'll end it with that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Azam. Of course, I'm, I'm totally agree with you. I just mentioned this point just to show that, that, that you didn't support dams because I know that you are against building Makhul Dam, which is we already have a lot of area to, to we, we already all our storage of water is empty. We don't have anything to put in it already. And, and even in Iraqi law, we have a big gap, as you know, to collecting the water and how to collect the water. Like, as you know, uh, as, as, you, as you mentioned already, that more than 90% more than of our water came from outside countries, and we don't have a good negotiation with them. So what, what, what in the end, the, 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 the conclusion, it should be like this, what, uh, if you allow me to say that we need a good negotiator to, to lead all this negotiation with, with, with our neighbor country, just to tell them that those reverses, not for Iraq only, not for Turkey only, not for Syria, not for Kurdistan, not for Iran. This is for the Mesopotamian, and let's share it and drink from it together. This is what we need, and that's it. But you need to give somebody, you need to negotiate about something. Th We're negotiating, th anyway, it's, it's, it's a long discussion, but uh, anyway, I'm going to solve it here. The Thank you very you much both. I think we have to uh, we have to move on and uh, it is fascinating and I would like to discuss uh, the, the things with the two of you and uh, I wish I knew more about uh, the rivers and locations of the dams but the dams will come back and uh, in the nearest talk uh, partly by Kaveh Madani and also in the uh, next session after the break uh, about the Sahel region so we will talk about uh, dams uh, all uh, throughout the whole day.